Sorry. Just a question. What is the most <clears throat> profound transformation you have witnessed through your work? If I tell you that, <laughs> you will not believe me. <laughs> but I will tell you a few. It's actually, this is what that really kept me going uh, for 20 years, otherwise I would have stopped this work a long time ago. When I first started this many years ago, a um, young girl, she's about 19 or 21 probably, maybe about 15 years ago I think, uh, she came, she's a beautiful model looking, beautiful girl. But she has been sick by her father from her childhood. Now uh, she hates men. She doesn't like even a man coming close to you. Huh? She feels repulsive. Men are repulsive. So she has no chance of uh, having a boyfriend. She can go for one. She can go to a club and have a one night stand because sex is different. You can have sex with anybody, but when you come to be intimacy and love, very repulsive. Okay. So she does one night stands. That is that's perfectly okay for her, but. Next day she felt empty because one night stand, she would never see the man again. She just used the body and she didn't get any orgasm from that man either. He had an orgasm, he just left. And she didn't even know his name. And she they kept on doing this thinking that some man could give an orgasm for her one day, you know. So in her situation, sexually, the child uh, totally hated men uh, and the body was completely numb even though she could have sex. Uh, she developed into a cervical cancer, so he was diagnosed with cancer in the cervix. Uh, at this time I was uh, studying with Brandon Bayes, uh, who pioneered journey therapy, I don't know whether you know Brandon Bayes. Uh, she is a person who had a cancer uh, in her body, she cured it herself uh, with certain spiritual work. So I did a two year course uh, to study how to release emotion without even touching the body. So she came to me thinking that uh, I could help her with Brandon's work. I was a creative therapist of her. So I said that, uh, yes, I can help her. But I said, but this work will take 10 years for you to see the results. But I also know tantric work, which incorporates yoni massages and the body work and everything. I said, your problem is in the yoni because, and if I do the yoni massage and if I help you to release this from the body, same way that I've shown you on the body work, the yoni is the same as the body. It has sadness, the ticklishness, the fear, the pain, yum, numbness, everything. So I said, if I do that, uh, maybe it will help you. I don't know. I did a couple of sessions for her and she freaked out <laughs> because <laughs> and she never came back. <laughs> I thought, what have I done? I thought, I was, I was really excited because to use as a case study, I said, I know that this should work because yeah, I didn't yeah. know it would work or not. Uh, because very controversial work that I was doing even 15, 20 years ago, this is even more controversial than now. Um, and I had a, this client with the problem and I know I can help her. But after two sessions, she disappeared. She didn't come back. And I never phoned my clients or I never contacted them to ask why you want to come back. I wait till they come back. Suddenly after two years she came back. <laughs> so I asked, what were you doing? I said, why did you disappear? She said, Ma, I thought you were a complete pervert. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to come close to me, you were touching my genital area, you were touching my breast and you were touching my body. I said, yuck. I said, I hated you, you know. I said, I, I, I couldn't trust you. So I just, I thought this is not for me. But then she said she did some energy healing. She went to an energy healing school. She did some energy healing work. But so she did some spiritual work on her. What happened was this spiritual work that she did on her, it opened her channels. It came for her to some realization that she then felt she holds emotions in the body. And she thought, okay, Mal is the best person that I could go to. So you started the process, <laughs> yeah. she went off and found her own yeah. way to get to the point yeah. where you could then yeah. treat her. Because I asked her, you, you came to me because you had uh, cervical cancer. I said, why didn't you go to the doctor and get this cleared? Because you can easily get chemotherapy and surgery and, you know, get sort it out, you know, even temporary. She said, no, I don't believe in uh, medical practice at all because I believe in self-healing. She believes in self-healing. 
So because of that, she said, my work was too threatening for her, so she did energy healing. So this is non-touch healing, just like Reiki or something like that. But she had profound opening by doing that, going to the energy healing school. Then it gave her the courage to come to me. Then she came to me and then she said, Mark, I need a session every week. I'm not going to finish this until I finish my problem with you. Okay, I trust you. You can do whatever you want. Tell me what do you want me to sign? I'll sign it. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm no, yours. <laughs> yeah. she got, you got your way. <laughs> well, what happened was then, so she transformed completely. She loves men. Okay. And after that, she looked sex in a very different way to what she did before. Sex was, you need to fall in love with someone first. It's a connection. You need a connection, deep connection first. Then only she would have sex. She would not give her body to anybody else after that. After that, she, she, I said, look, what about your cancer? She said, no, forget it. Look, do I look like I have cancer? I'm happy. Then she said, Mal, I believe in your work so much. I trust in your work so much. I want to be a healer. Heal men. Then I trained her to be a healer. She became one of the really top healers. So whenever a man wants to heal him, I send her to her. Okay? So not only that, she transformed hating men, she started loving men and helping men. She is helping the very men yeah. who are traumatized. Mm -hmm. Because she knows that if you help men who are traumatized, they would not damage children and women. Yeah. Mm. It's her, also her way of getting through it. Her way of healing. Every time she did a client, she said, Mal, it's healing for me. Mm. So now, this is about 15, long time ago, 15, 18 years ago. She's grown up, she's about 35, I think now. Now she's uh, happily married. She's got a beautiful child. She doesn't work now, but she said, my love is for the child now and for my husband. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, my change after when the child grows up later on. Uh, so this is just an amazing story. And they both come to me uh, because he, he, he says that, what she says is, look, she, she invited me for her wedding. And I was really embarrassed, there were a lot of people there. And she's introducing me as the person saviour. You know? <laughs> 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 from I would be dead today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, for her husband, she, she says that, look, if not for Mal, I wouldn't be alive. So her husband actually came with her to learn this work. So I taught him step by step how to do this work. So they are practicing and they are healing themselves. And they're having a beautiful relationship. Amazing story. This is this is really one of the best stories that I can tell you. And she has not any problem with the cervix at the moment. She says she didn't even go for a test to see whether she has cancer or not. She says it's relevant for her as long as she's happy. She has no she's happy. And uh, I won't even tell this story because this is unbelievable. Do you think that these sessions would help anyone with a cervical cancer or just in case the cancer comes from a trauma? You see, you people will tell this is a coincidence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, nothing to do with my work. So I cannot make any claims from this. I'm just telling you a story, the truth, what happened with the client. Uh, she also has done a lot of energy healing work, other spiritual work on top of my work as well. So it is not just my work, but it's a combination of many spiritual work <laughs> that can reverse I feel our body is capable of healing ourselves with any illness if we allow it to happen. Do you think that's a lot because of the Western focus on non-tactile trying, if there's something physical wrong, let's work out what part of that physical thing you take away rather than seeing the body as a whole. And you see, looking at all the energies, emotion, we're all linked, it's all linked, it's all part of one being. One of the biggest problems that we have because we are not tactile. Yeah. We, our biggest, the most popular therapy we have to people with anything is to do counseling and psychotherapy. Mm. And these people are told uh, that you are not supposed to touch the client, you can only talk and listen, that's all. Okay? Now, what happens with the situation? 
When I talk to a child, or as even as an adult, it's very painful. How do you survive this pain? Is by leaving your body, by dissociating and disconnecting yourself. So your mind goes somewhere else, your body stays somewhere else, you are totally disconnected from the body and the mind. And the, it's stored in the body. Wherever the, this happened, the is stored in the body cellular memory. Not in the mind. Mind is only a processor. Okay? Now the most popular therapy we have, supported by the mainstream, is to talk to a mind for many months to solve a problem in the body while the body and mind is disconnected. That's why it doesn't work or it takes a long time. Would that be the same if, say for instance, all these soldiers coming back from war? Everything. Losing limbs and... Everything. Everything.